So I've mentioned before, and it was my video comparing the CZ805 to the Bren 2, that on the Bren 2, you cannot cock the action when the hammer is down and the safety is engaged. You cannot push it down far enough for the sear to catch on the hammer, but when it's the safety is off, then you can. And this is also why when the safety is engaged but the hammer is cocked, then you can cycle the gun no problem. It's just when I can demonstrate it on the VZ61 as well. This trait is common to the VZ61, the VZ805, oops, and the Scorpion Evo. But this is backwards, it should be that way. And the reason is because you see, if I have the hammer down, uh, I've seen people say that uh, if you have the safety engaged, it locks the bolt on the uh, VZ61 in either position, but on mine, it doesn't. I haven't handled enough scorpions to say if that's true for all of them, but on mine, it doesn't. It only locks the bolt in place when the hammer is down and the safety is on because, just like the 805, it can't latch into position. And that's because. If I can get the light right. The way it works normally in semi-auto is the hammer gets pushed back by the bolt. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way. And then there's the oblique surfaces between the hammer and the sear that pushes the sear forward as the hammer is going down. It goes all the way down and it gets under the sear. And when you're holding it down, then the semi-auto disconnector, which is here, catches the other side of the hammer and then you release the trigger and you can see the sear creeping forward as the disconnector goes back, catches the bent on the hammer. And when you have the safety engaged, what it does is there's a little arm, you can see it moving, that is this one right there, you can see that shiny surface moving, that goes into that I'm going to use the disassembly tool that goes into that hole that's in the selector lever and that's what allows it to move but when the safety is off the holes rotate out of the way so the lever can't move up and it can't release the hammer so when the hammer is down and the safety is on that let me see I'm looking through the camera to do this. That arm is connected directly to the sear, and let me see if I can show you. Yeah, I'm pushing the sear, and that ha hand is moving. So because the sear, that hand can't move, the sear can't move, so the hammer can't move the sear to allow it to be recocked. And this is exactly the same. It's a bit harder to see on the Scorpion Evo. Let's see, safety's off. Does it to recock easily, and that's the safety engaged. But when the safety is on, it's the same deal. I can't move the sear. It has two sear surfaces in the Scorpion Evo, so I can't cock the hammer. But this is remediated on the Bren 2. See if I drop the hammer. Hammer is down. If I put the safety on, I can still cock the hammer. I can cock the hammer, then I can charge the action. So how does easy to get around that? The answer is, I need to drop the hammer to see, you can actually see down in there. It has, this has the same sort of system as all of these three. However, it has an additional feature. You can see, come on, focus, stop focusing. This is the arm, ah, oh, goddamn. This is the arm that's attached to the sear here and does the same sort of thing. There's this relief. You can see the arm is down there. It is just like on the VZ61 and all of the others. However, rather than this being all one contiguous piece, there is a, the, the um, this is attached directly to the trigger, but the sear 
is not touched directly to this is actually a separate piece so you can see when I push on the sear that arm that's down there I'm trying to get in focus I might fail yeah that one that little guy right down there he doesn't move and that's because it's a separate piece and you can see it there see the lines there and there This is really hard to show. Watch. See? It's lifting up away from it. See, they're two separate pieces, and this has its own spring. But with the trip, but with safety engaged, now that moves that arm and that works on the safety. So even with the hammers engaged and the trigger itself can't move, the sear itself can still move and thus be able to catch the hammer and allow it to cock even with the safety engaged. So that is how they did it. Uh, like I said before, some people have said that you cannot uh, cycle the guns at all in the safety engage. That's not true. It's only when the hammer is down on these guns. Well, these are just the three I've noticed. I haven't checked uh, other CZ long guns like the 52 or the 5257 to see. The VZ-58 is not like this. Because uh, it's uh, got a linear hammer. It's a completely different trigger mechanism as opposed to these. These are all hammer fired. and But I just happened to be fiddling with these tonight. And I noticed the similarity between all of them. And thought that I would share how that was improved upon in the CZ Burn 2. I so hope that was informative to all of you. Any of you guys who have any of these. Uh, and that's just another quirk that you have to work around with these. But not the Burn 2.